<laughs> on tonight's instalment of uh, what laptop power supplies are handy for makeshift battery chargers my other battery charger for a lead acid car battery charger is uh, sitting out of my workshop but uh, I've got this one here which is a, just a little PWM controller and a 19 volt laptop charger just strip your wires back I let the uh, left the interior light on me Toyota van. I don't really want to go out there and jump start it because I don't really want to run it. I just want to, uh, even if it takes a little while, just give it a charge up so it's ready to go tomorrow. I always do these terminals wrong, they're back to front. You got like a like a little box that goes down inside them. In here. Because this PWM controller was on the uh, little power wall, it's got beautiful long leads with alligator clips already. And it's also got an output pair of smaller alligator clips, which I normally power a light bar with. So let's go out to the bus and uh, see if it works. All right, so we're out of the van. Tiny little battery with interior light left on. My stupid fault. EWM. Beautiful long alligator leads. All the instructions for the PWM say make sure you always connect it first. It's pass to your power source, and it's not even going to light up. I'm not sure if it's going to be an issue or not. It's um, the AC source. I don't think it's going to do anything because it's uh, had no battery voltage. So no good from starting battery dead flat. I'll just uh, grab the jump starter pack and just get it so the battery's actually got something in it. And then uh, we'll see how this goes charging it. Right, so I changed my mind. There was an ATX power supply closer. So uh, I'll just put the power supply on the terminals. That's got it to light up ever so faintly. even though it's actually got enough power to run the headlights, but we'll give that a minute to, uh, yeah, there it is. There's the interior light on in the back there. Might be able to see it because of the camera's light. All right. I'm gonna unplug the ATX and see if we still got a voltage on the display there. Dropping fast, 8 volts. Here we go. I got it plugged in in time. Before it actually stopped, you can see it pulsing right there. That is pulsing and charging off a laptop power supply. So, basically free laptop power supply, say. And a, yeah. Uh, Little PWM controller off eBay for anywhere between 12 and 16 Australian dollars. Probably less for you guys in the US. You come back in uh, 20 minutes or so and see how uh, see what's going for charge. It's been about 10 minutes. We're dipping up and down into the 13s. There's a little bit of warmth in the charger. Nothing to be worried about. Yeah, 10 degrees more than ambient, no big deal. Headlights work. 
take it out pretty quick. It's only, only like three amps an hour at uh, 18 or 19 volts at full noise, I think. 19 volts. So, uh, it's a bit mean putting a load like that on it, but anyway. Tuck all this in. So, we can shut the door. Charge down there hanging so it's not insulated on a hot seat, but uh, they're thermally protected anyhow. We'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope, uh, hope it helps someone out. I uh, just had this random thought today. Wonder if it'll uh, charge a car battery up off a uh, laptop charger. Just another great use for a second hand laptop charger, basically. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. We'll catch you in the next video.